Welcome to this episode of the Sports Detective Podcast Show. My name is James Williams, and today we discuss the Oakland A's are relocating to Las Vegas, except they aren't going to be playing in Las Vegas for another four years. So this episode today is going to be about basically where are the Oakland A's going to be playing for the next few years. Um, I apologize to maybe baseball fans that might be coming across my feed for the first time. I have not been following the story that much. So I caught up on a bunch of stuff, reading a bunch of different articles this morning, but I'll go ahead here guys and show you this tweet um, from front, front office sports. Now, again, there, there's a lot of like local reporting on this, but I'm just going to show you this tweet here that kind of summarizes everything. Um, and then I'll kind of give you a little bit more detail. So as you kind of see here, guys, Oakland A's leaders are touring ballparks in Salt Lake City and Sacramento this week per Mick Acres, Mick Acres, uh, exploring potential venues for uh, the 2025 to 2027 seasons. The team's lease in Oakland is up after 2024, and their 1.5 billion Vegas ballpark won't be done until 2028. As you can see there, pretty little A's logo in the um, mountains right next to the great salt lake so that's basically the story here guys i had no idea that any of this was happening um i knew they're relocating obviously but i did not know that their lease was going to end next year and then they have to spend three years basically being a transplant at a triple a ballpark um now now the i'll kind of go over the two venues that are um being discussed at here because i think both cities are definitely interested in them. And I think I think they'll probably move to one of those two cities. I could be wrong. Maybe there's a third city that emerges. But um, so Sacramento, their team in Sacramento, the uh, minor league affiliate there is the Giants, I believe. Excuse me. Um, so that's kind of an interesting situation there. There's, there's always this A's-Giants kind of like a rivalry. Well, the Giants really want to help out the A's and give them a home for three years. That's kind of an interesting um, conversation there. I have no idea if they would. Um, versus here too. Now I read this on an Oakland A's site, so I don't know how truthful it is, but, um, them going to Salt Lake city, the Salt Lake city affiliate is the, uh, Los Angeles angels. Now, a thing I read on the A's fan website about this move would be that there's skepticism that that would actually be the right move or that the angels would allow them because the angels apparently in Los, Las Vegas have like a very like strong, apparently Las Vegas has a lot of angels fans. Never heard of that before, but I'm um, not sure why. But appa- apparently Las Vegas, according to the Saves website that I read, has a lot of uh, Angels fans. So I, there's kind of like a theory that like maybe the Angels wouldn't want to um, have their minor league stadium be taken over by the A's for three years. But um, so th- those kind of seem like the two options for um, a home there too for the A's. But this is just... This is just a very, very weird story to me here, too, because we have I feel like we haven't had I could be wrong. Maybe someone could point out something like this to me in like one of the major sports where like a team has been um, in basically a different city for a extended period of time where where they're waiting for them to actually relocate to a place. Now, there was um, a time I remember this pretty clearly where the um, in the NBA where the uh, the New Orleans franchise, they were at the time the New Orleans Hornets, they played in Oklahoma City for uh, the majority of a season. Be- but that was because of the Katrina, uh, Hurricane Katrina, Hurricanes in New Orleans. So they weren't actually able to play in New Orleans. So that was like a Chris Paul team. They played in Oklahoma City for a year. Um, I know that the Minnesota Vikings, when they were waiting for their stadium to be built, they were playing in um, the, the college stadium, the Minnesota Gophers Stadium. Um, I I can't remember if it was like two years or three years, but again, too, even in that situation, um, um, they're like, they're, they're, they're at home. They're at their home base. It's not like the entire team, the entire franchise is going to have to relocate for three years in a completely different city and then leave. That's, that's crazy guys. This is absolutely crazy. Um, and I, again, if someone knows a different, a few other examples of this, of like teams having to play, not even just in like different cities, but different stadiums, um, I, I'd love to know that. Hit hit me up in the comments about that stuff. But this is 
an absolutely crazy story here too, because you're also talking about the A's team that was the worst team in Major League Baseball last year. They were a laughing stock. They couldn't get people to go to any of their games in Oakland. I think they're going to have a pretty hard time of having people come back to their games in Oakland again, and they're going to be this transplant in this new city for three years, and they're still going to suck because it seems like their their team isn't necessarily trying to win. And then you also have this other factor too: if they're going to suck. They sucked last year. They're going to suck next year. If they suck these three years in this transplant city, what happens when they move to Vegas? This crappy team that moves to Vegas. Are people really going to be interested in them in Vegas? Again, I, I just, I don't know. I was reading, I'm going to do a deeper dive on this whole situation at one point. Um, Cause there's a lot of weird factors of like how viable this Vegas move is going to be. And actually there's a lot of like moving pieces where it's like they're, they're clearly moving there, but the numbers and kind of like the aspect of like how well it's going to work is still seems like it's up in the air. There's a chance it could be an absolute and utter disaster than moving to Vegas. Um, at least in the short term, maybe the long term, it will end up being okay. But like I read something where it's like they're, they're planning on when they actually get to Vegas. Well, it's like, well, it's going to be a tourist distraction. It's like, Oh, okay. Well, baseball is a summer sport. Vegas is a desert. So you're telling me that, that fans are going to want to, you know, take time out of their vacation to go watch a crappy team in the dead heat of the summer in Las Vegas to watch a crappy team. Like, I don't believe that at all. Like, that just seems like a terrible vacation. So um, very interesting kind of weird story here. The the Oakland A's might become the Salt Lake City A's for a year, or they might become the uh, Sacramento A's. Another thing here, too, I'll add, because I didn't know this. I don't I live in the Midwest. I don't know the geography of, um, you know, the mountain areas and kind of like the California area. To me, just looking at a map, now I didn't do the miles or anything. I really didn't care that much. It does look like Oakland and um, Salt Lake City seem like they're about equal, relatively equal distance between, um, um, like Oakland is relatively equal distance. Like it, t- it looks like on a map, it's around the same distance to get from Oakland to Salt Lake City. Or, or excuse me, not Oakland to Salt Lake City. Um, pardon me, Vegas. For, I misspoke there. Vegas to Salt Lake City, as it is Vegas to Sacramento. So I kind of figured, like, too, when I was first reading, I'm like, oh, well, maybe if you're Oakland, or excuse me, if you're the A's, and you want to um, uh, kind of, you know, really kind of cultivate a fan base, maybe you go to Salt Lake City if it's a little closer. It does look like they are about equal distance. Maybe one is like a few, you know, you know, maybe you know, 50 miles more than the other. I'm not sure. Maybe someone can give me that information in the comments. But to me, just looking on a map, they do look pretty equal distance from um, from Vegas. So there you have it, guys. Um, let me know in the comments. This is a very interesting story, and it looks like the A's are just basically going to be the number one baseball disaster in the 2020s. At least that's the way it's going right now. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I don't know how much baseball content I'm going to keep doing, but if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps support the show. We've been doing this podcast now for over um, three years, about to enter our fourth year doing this. We're just starting to put clips on YouTube. We just kind of react to fun, interesting sports stories. We do MLB, obviously, now. We do NFL. We do ML, or excuse me, um, God, I, I can't talk in this episode. NFL, NBA, college football, college basketball. So if you like any of that stuff, too, Please subscribe. Really helps us out in the algorithm. Algorithm. Oh my God, I'm going to end this video right now. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.